What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at my Hammerhead Bull Shark. This has been my primary fishing kayak for a little over six months now, probably going on seven. I've owned it for a little bit longer than that, but um, anyways, I put a lot of time in this thing over the past year. Um, I mean, I don't know how many hundreds of miles I've pedaled in it, how many, you know, thousands of pounds of fish been caught, money this one. It's been a great kayak, but um, some of you guys may have seen, I did a video when I first picked it up, um, you know, about eight, nine months ago. Um, and I did a video just kind of walk through, looking at all the features. And I promised I'd come back after I've been using it a good bit and actually put some time in and uh, give you guys kind of a review based on the features. Um, you know how they actually work in the water and when you're put into use. And then also kind of a durability test too, because that's, I mean, all these features are great, but you can kind of see the features, you know, on anybody's promo site. The stuff that matters is, you know, the real-time experience or the, you know, the stuff you notice after real time in the water. So that's what I'll be walking you guys through today. Um, just in case you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it in the description. It's um, on a card there and it'll be on the end screen at the end of the video. So you guys just watch it through and uh, you can jump back to that there because I'm not going to go over all the features. Just the ones that uh, I need to make updates on. So. Basically, if you guys haven't seen it already, this is the Hammerhead Bull Shark. It's a 13 foot pedal kayak, mostly designed for fishing. Um, I think right at 34 or 35 inches wide. So very similar size and profile to the um, Hobie Outback, a little bit longer. Um, you know, obviously the layout's different, but, um, and it is a pedal drive and they do have two different options. Um, this is the fin drive that I have. They also make a pedal propel drive. Um, you just swap out this cassette here or whatever they call it um i can't remember what you call it insert or whatever you swap that out and uh you can actually swap to pedal power but i only have the fin drive but that's kind of besides the point that's kind of beside the point okay so let's get into the features here first thing i want to look at is the seat here as you can see pretty typical um you know wire um, aluminum frame mesh seat as you see on a lot of the kayaks in this range um super comfortable no issues there or only issue i've had is down here you can't really see it but there's a couple little threads that have come loose down here i don't think it will focus just i mean there's like four and um that will kind of poke you if your shorts ride up a bit um a little, a little prickly not a big deal there um one thing i do need to mention is even though i've only i've only had this kayak for I don't know, six, seven months. I actually bought it used from a friend and it's actually four or five years old. So this is one of their original run hammerhead bull sharks. So they made a lot of updates on the newer ones. I'm gonna show you guys those two, which um, is the big one I'm gonna talk about right now is the seat track and risers. You know, seat, great, no problems there. The seat track with the risers like this, um, th this sucks with this design. Um, it's not terrible. The original design had it a little bit lower. I got these aftermarket ones they had built, um, just 3D printed. And uh, they raised up that seat, so you're sitting up about an extra three or four inches, which is great. But um, they didn't fit perfectly, and then moving it back and forth is um, a bit of a pain. Um, you can't really take them on and off. Like, once they're locked in, they're super, super tight. And basically, you're stuck traveling with the seat in. You can't just take it out. So that's a pain in the butt. Um, but with the new ones, he completely redesigned the seat so it locks in and actually has a uh, like three or four positions. You lift it up, it's got a little strap and it will change heights and slide back and forth much, much easier. So if you're getting one that's not, I mean, that's something you want to pay attention to. You got one with the original, um, you know, seat design like this. It's not going to work near as well as the new redesigned seat. Um, the other issue, and this is actually the biggest design flaw. I've seen on this entire kayak is this hatch here, this position here. As you can see where I've got the seat now, it's uh, pretty much like flush with the edge of the seat. So you just barely have enough room to open that up there. But here's the deal. This seat's in the perfect position for me, sitting here, reach the pedals, you know, pedal away. But I'm 6'2", I've got long legs. So if you're a shorter person, this is gonna be really difficult. You're gonna have to slide that seat forward and this hatch is totally unusable. So, you know, that's um, so probably the biggest design flaw I've seen in the kayak and definitely something you wanna pay attention to. Um, you know, it's not a, not a game breaker but or a deal breaker, but it is quite irritating. Um, see these side decks here, that's holding up pretty well, the little de foam decking there. Um, super easy to stand up, move around. The stability on this kayak is incredible for the size. Uh, I have not had any issues coming close to flipping. I stand up and fish all the time. Great for sight fishing and all that. So that's awesome. 
we move up to this front hatch here. Um, there's kind of, you know, it's kind of ribbed on the top, shreds water well. Um, this is a little unique because it's totally self-contained, molded in here, so it doesn't have access to the whole hole, which is both good and bad at the same time because what that means is you're not getting any water leaking in there because, which is a very common thing. I have not found a kayak that doesn't leak from the front hatch in rough water, but you are very limited in space here. So it's only, see if in my hand there, maybe about six inches, five to six inches of depth there. So you do not have a whole lot of room. So it's kind of a pro and con. I personally like it more than I um, dislike it. I like keeping my kayak hole dry and keeping that extra weight down. So that works great. Latches are fine. No issues there at all. Um, I like that a lot. Handles, you know, they're pretty cheap, um, but no issues there. Um, but I did break my original ones, but they were um, just rotted because it was left out in the sun. And uh, he put these new designed ones on and they've held up great. No problems there at all. Rod holder positions. I love those, these um, gear rails here, the tracks. They fit the Yak Attack ones great. Um, I've run the uh, whole um, sub lock, switchblade, fish finder, whole deal here. A lot of weight on these. Very minimal flex, no issues there. Those work great. Um, overall whole layout is awesome. These back tracks are put in great position. Um, rod holders, all these are set up. I mean, perfect layout as far as the rod holders go. Um, this here, the paddle holder, I would like if this was a little more recessed here, had a little more room. Um, I need to tighten this bungee up. Um, it's kind of just not a whole lot to uh, for the paddle to rest on. You're totally relying on your bungee. So if you get rough water, your paddle will kind of catch, or if you just got a really heavy paddle, you're gonna have issues with it kind of sagging. So, um, you know, if I tighten up that bungee, which I, I need to, but uh, that takes care of it, um, but, not a huge fan of that, not not a huge deal, but that's just one of the minor cons I found. Um, these handles on the side, those are kind of molded in, locked in rubber on the front. These are awesome, these are great. Cup holders, nice, it's kind of slotted to let the water drain out, perfect. Um, as you can see, like all these scupper drain holes, those are all the water runs, splashes in, run straight out of the scuppers if you have them open. Usually I keep these front ones closed, I don't know why I have one in and one out, but I keep those front ones to keep the stuff up here dry and it'll channel in. And I'll run out the back here behind the seat, which is great. Um, back bungees are good. A uh, little old, but I don't, I don't use them anyways. So back handle, same kind of um, that plasticky stuff. It works. Same deal with this. Great. The rudder, I did have a problem with it. Um, I, like I said, um, you know, this is an older kayak. Mine was four or five years old. After I had a couple months, I um, got stuck. I was using a little rough. I'm, I'm tough on my stuff. And... Um, there's a little bushing in here that's kind of catches it or, or it catches the teeth to change your um, total amount of movement. I, um, I don't know what happened. I think I got this caught on something that was blowing around and it pulled backwards, broke it free. And um, uh, then it let me rotate all the way around, got my cord tangled up. That was not great. My rudder was pretty much, um, you could still turn it, but it would get, it would just kind of spin on its own and would have issues with that. But I brought it into Hammerhead because um, they're local near me and Eddie there, he fixed it up like super, super quick. Um, it was like the next day had rebuilt the whole thing for me and it was like, you turned like 10 bucks for it, like, like ridiculous. So that was great. And you know, this is way outside of warranty. I'm second year, uh, second owner is like five years old. So I, that's one thing I got to say is customer service. But these guys is the best I have seen of any company I have ever worked with or done any kind of relationships with. He is um, Eddie over there and all the guys at Hammerhead. They are incredible. Like, I just can't. I'm always blown away by their um, service. But, yeah, as far as the other parts of the kayak go, whole material is great. That's held up well. I've um, dragged it a lot. And it's a little scuffed up on the bottom, but it's not bad. Um, it's plenty thick enough. Well, still staying light, uh, no cracks, nothing with that, zero whole issues at all. I love the design, and um, yeah, well, hold on, let me just show you guys this drive. Forgot with that drive, no real issues with that. It's almost an exact copy of the um, older Hobie, the V2 style um, drives before they moved to the um, ones with, like the, tur the new SC Turbo Fins 180, that style. So same all the parts are interchangeable with that and the only issues i had was just normal like wear and tear stuff like you know i hit a log broke a fin um had a big redfish wrap around a fin and cut it you know just 
all normal stuff you can, can expect with that. So drives great. Everything else, um, man, I'm just gonna say I've loved this kayak. You know, I'm always hesitant um, about stuff that's, you know, um, more on the budget end, like this thing, you know, new they're running. He's raised the price with a lot of the upgrades he's made and now they're sitting around 1600. But still, you know, that's almost the very cheapest pedal kayak you can get. And I've got to say, it, it's up there. Like, quality and uh, design is great. So, I just wanted to update you guys. You know, I made that other video, and I'll, I'll, you'll see the other one will pop up here in just a second. But um, I just wanted to give you guys an update and, you know, had to give the Hammerhead a little bit of a shout out just because of how great um, this is. You know, they haven't paid me or I don't have any kind of deals with them, but this has been um, just such an awesome kayak. I wanted to show it to you guys for anybody that's in the market for a. Um, more um you know they, they want a good fishing kayak a good pedal kayak but they just don't have the money to spend uh, four or five grand on a brand new hobie so anyways guys hopefully that helped you out if you're looking at these things kind of want to row the you know or run down if you have any questions you know i'm sure i've missed something that i should have gone over um just drop them down there in the comments um any feedback whatever any kind of other kayaks you want me to look at all that i really appreciate it guys thanks for watching please consider subscribing i hope to see you guys on the channel again